report suspicious activities and call 911 for immediate response. Expect delays, searches of personal property, and restricted access to public buildings. Expect traffic delays and restrictions. Take personal security precautions to avoid becoming a victim of an attack. Avoid crowded public areas and gatherings. Do not travel into areas affected by the attack or in a known area of elevated virus activity. Keep emergency supplies accessible and a full tank of gas at all times. Be prepared to evacuate your home or shelter on the order of local authorities. Be suspicious of persons that exhibit signs of infection. Report these individuals immediately to law enforcement. Closely monitor news reports and local radio or TV stations. And law enforcement, assist neighbors who may need help. Avoid passing on unconfirmed information and rumors. If you come in contact with the infected, seek medical attention immediately. Wow, well, that intro took a lot longer than expected. While making this video, things have gotten a little bit more interesting. Uh, while I was roaming around trying to set up a scene for my next cinematic video, I came to realize, well, for one, it will take you a lot more than 100 hours in the game to discover and unfold its true scenery. Two, I think I found the most underrated city in Scum. And three, well, just like in real life, the gas prices here are nothing to write home about either. I'm a little bit off the topic. Anyway, so as mentioned, the most underrated city is called Sambor City, which is uh, located between D3 and D4. It's not to say that the city was not a system before? No, not at all. However, because it's a bigger area in the game, it might be looked down upon if you know what I mean. As I was looting around village to village, I couldn't help but to notice tall buildings in the distance, simply begging for my attention. And guess what happened? Well, I gave it my attention. As I slowly proceeded to the city, I began to cautiously observe all the beauty and the detail that went into putting the city together. It reminded me a lot of The Last of Us. If I could describe to you my gameplay style, I would certainly classify myself as a PvE player rather than PvP. And it's not that I have anything against PvP, it's just that in real life I'm more observant and I tend to enjoy checking things out more. And with PvP, you're more concerned about saving your life and eliminating the player that tries to take you out. And there Therefore, you might miss the beauty and the effort that just went into creating all this. If you look very closely, every abandoned building, the leftover debris, even the stoplights, add a very specific atmosphere to the city. It's as if the city is still holding on to the last bit of life that is yet to be taken away forever. Ladies and gents, welcome to Sambor City. Guys, just check this out for a minute, will you? This is everything that's been left behind, so to speak. The weather is fantastic. It is fairly large city as well, which means that not finding any supplies here is pretty much impossible, unless, of course, there were groups of people here prior to my arrival. Every room in every building is easily accessible. The only downside is the bigger the city, the bigger the threat is. The town specifically is a very great hideout. There is plenty of higher ground, taller buildings, which means that there is a slight possibility that the city could be taken over by snipers or anyone with that intent. It's pretty much like a nest for all of them. I personally try to always remain cautious. Not only the cities the size of this are packed with puppets but also other players. So taking precautions and limiting the noise in the city will get you a long way. And I understand that it's nearly impossible to check every window in the place. But just as I mentioned earlier, technically they don't know that you're here either unless you make unnecessary noise. Getting around in some of these buildings could be a task but it's definitely doable i would certainly recommend only using your melee weapon here unless you do have a weapon suppressor handy but i would still honestly not use it or try to avoid it unless it's absolutely necessary as of right now i'm concerned about the puppets that are left in some of these buildings that is why i'm checking my corners i am a huge believer that if i don't see a player then chances are they don't see me either but it's better be safe than sorry so to speak so so far it's pretty quiet and peaceful i will give it to whoever was in charge of level developing or is it uh map designing i don't know but regardless whoever participated in designing the map i give you so much credit because believe it or not someone who very much enjoys the pve element of things i value the effort and the time that went into this everything about this game is fantastic the detail the aesthetic just everything about this seems to be placed with a thought behind which is very admirable even a wheelchair right here
I mean, just look at all of this. I don't know why I'm so mind blown right now, but then wait until the update with the newborns releases. Just imagine those little things jumping from the roof to roof and absolutely terrifying the living shit out of you. And chances are they're going to have their queens right next to him as well. That's freaking terrifying. Scum overall is taking such a drastic and unexpected turn in a good way of course and I've heard rumors that at some point there will be an update for Scum that will ultimately just change everything. You know some games drop an update and it completely changes the game entirely as far as the main menu and everything else? Well I hear that Scum will have an update like that as well. Now it was just a rumor so take that with a grain of salt. There are still a few major updates coming up, but either way, the work ethic and just the development of this game has been nothing but a success. If you haven't given Scum a try and you're thinking about it, I definitely recommend it. I would be very mindful though, because it is a very good looking game, which means that your computer is not gonna like that. If you have a beast that can run this easily, I'd definitely give it a try. When I run this game on epic settings, it just blows my mind because the game really shines, not gonna lie. Bottom line is, and it's not to shit on DayZ, but Scum is everything DayZ couldn't live up to or just couldn't be. If you guys enjoyed this video for even a split second, then definitely give me a thumbs up or maybe if you dislike the video, then just give me a thumbs down. I mainly cover survival games of this nature, so if that's down your valley, then definitely subscribe. And with that being said, this was your boy Roos, and I'm out. Bye.